Well, what's going on today, YouTube? Uh, today, I wanted to go over a couple things with you guys. Um, a lot of people ask me about the uh, coil pack brackets uh, because obviously the factory ones, they would hit back in here against the firewall. You couldn't get them mounted. Um, that and some spark plug wires to go with your headers. Um, if you use the headers that I suggested, which are these shorty headers that you can get for like 85 bucks, um, the factory uh, spark plug wires that go to the uh, coil packs from the, if you used a 5, 3, or 4, 8, 6, 0, uh, th those wires aren't going to fit very well. So today I wanted to go over the coil pack brackets and then a set of spark plug wires that I have found to be very heavy duty, uh, fit very well with these um, coil packs and these um, shorty headers that we have on here now. So, um, first of all, as far as the coil pack brackets, what I did is I went to Lowe's, I got a sheet of 16 gauge steel. Um, I, I believe it was, uh, like 12 by 16, the, the sheet of steel. And then what I did was for both sides, I cut a piece of steel and uh, you can see my wiring harness is kind of in the way, but you're gonna to wanna to cut it three inches tall by 11 inches long, okay? And then once you cut that three by 11, you'll take a marker and a, um, let's just say a, a marker and a uh, either a straight edge or a ruler or whatever. And you can see, see that black line right there? You'll measure, since it's three inches tall, you'll measure out one and a half inches, which is dead center, and then mark it one and a half inches on the other side, make a straight line down the middle, and then measure exactly five and a half inches to the center, make a line going up and down, so that that way you know that this is your center point, this middle bolt. And then just take your coil packs, lay them out to where you have the second tab overlapping the first tab on each coil, so that this coil, the second tab, one, two, is overlapping the first tab on this coil. And then you're gonna wanna take some self-tappers, which I used eight millimeter head, three inch self-tappers, and then I just used my grinder and cut off the ends on the other side. Or you can drill holes and weld a nut on the back of the steel and just use a bolt to you know go through here and go through the bolt, which probably be best, and I probably will do that eventually. And uh, I'll take these off and paint them so they don't rust and all that. But this was just me showing you what they would look like if you did the style that I'm just describing to you now and put them on here. Um, how they'd look, where they would bolt to, and so forth. So what I did was after I did that, there's a mounting bracket hole for, on, well, for the coil factory coil bracket on the um, factory valve covers. There's one here and there's one here. I just drilled a hole through the plate here and here and put uh, the factory bolts through those two. And it is extremely sturdy. I mean, I, I could shake the whole car by grabbing onto that bracket. So I, I don't see it going anywhere. And then uh, after I bolted all that down, I went on uh, eBay. I've, I actually bought these plug wires a long time ago. These are factory plug wires for the LT1 motor that came in the uh, Caprice here. Um, but they are a perfect fit for these coil packs and the spark plugs, which I use the NGKRs, uh, T, I think it's, what is it, TR55s? Yeah, I believe that's the ones I use. Um, they're a perfect fit. So these here were $49.99. The brand name is VMS Racing. Uh, they are listed for 92 to 96 Corvette with the LT4. $49.99 free shipping, 10.2 millimeter plug wires. They are very thick and they have, they're, they're pretty good conductors uh, because once I took the factory uh, plug wires off and put these on here, I could tell an immediate difference, uh, believe it or not. Their item number is 222-618-203-314 and the seller is Faster Plan and that's on eBay. Those are the cheapest ones I found on there. You'll see some people listing these damn things excuse my language, these plug wires for $900, $800, that's just ridiculous. I don't know what they're doing on there, but 
yeah, you can get them for 50 bucks, uh, free shipping to your house. And like I said, I don't know if you can tell, but my hands are pretty, I got pretty big, thick hands. And you can see my index finger that that plug wire is huge, <laughs> you know, compared to my index finger there. It's, it's still pretty close. Um, yeah, they go up and around. And as you can see, see that plug wire, how it just plugs right onto the spark plug underneath the headers. And I've actually got them like that all the way across, going up underneath the headers and just plugging directly into the uh, spark plug. And I've got that on both sides. And then on this side, I did the exact same thing. Drilled a hole, put one of the bolts through it there to hold the brackets on and another bolt here. Got the spark plug wires on, got it onto the spark plugs. As you can see, it's out of the way. And then I got them grouped together. And as you can see, you'll have four straight spark plug wires with the straight boots. I got two on the middle on that side, two in the middle on this side. And then you'll have two curved boots, which I got facing inwards so that all four wires will come to a close group. And then I can put a zip tie here, which is farther away than it looks, believe it or not. Uh, it's not gonna get melted. I've already driven the car like this, but yeah, it turned out pretty good. And like I said, I'm gonna pull those coil pack brackets off that I made. And I'll paint them and make them look pretty. And I, I'll, I'll probably end up, since I do weld, I have a welder. You could pro uh, yeah, there's one there. Uh, I'll probably weld a bolt on the other side. Well, a nut rather, so that I can take these cool packs on and off easier. Uh, because like I said, this is a self tapper holding them on right now, which I mean, they'll, they're not going anywhere, but if I have a bad coil, putting a self tapper through it, you know, taking it in and out will eventually strip it out. So it'll just be easier if I want to make these uh, brackets permanent to weld a nut on the other side and do it the right way. So, but yeah, I just wanted to do a quick little update and show you how I did my coil pack brackets and those wires on, and these headers. Show you the engine here, see how it looks from afar. And then I've got the four inch intake. This is a factory uh, oh no, what am I talking about? Factory. This is an aftermarket Spectra. Uh, some, I don't know if it's an off brand or not, but some weird brand from uh, AutoZone Spectra. Um, this is actually for a 99 to 06 uh, Chevy Silverado Escalade, all that. The four inch one, I believe it's 150 bucks. It'll come with a quarter intake, this, and it's four inches, so it's huge. And then for the straight piece right here, which they didn't have, uh, I, I, uh, it'll come with this, uh, this, uh, boot here, the straight or the curved piece, the blue filter, this, uh, boot here. Uh, but what it doesn't come with is this straight piece here. And then this boot, which they sell this boot there as well at the AutoZone. And for this straight piece, this is actually a Chrome exhaust tip. that's four inch, uh, that was very thin metal, uh, but it's stainless, so it's not going to rust, but I, I chopped it off and, and just you know, bolted it on there. So yeah, made it look good and made it work. So, but yeah, just a little update. Wanted to give you guys another video, show you how it's coming along with everybody being stuck in the house right now. It's uh, pretty easy to get some work done. I, I mean, it's never easy. There's always other things you got to do, but this is what I decided to do with my time today. I pulled those uh, headers back off and put the uh, gaskets on them, new uh, manifold bolts and uh, I always put a little high heat silicone on there too. I don't know why it's just something I do, but yeah, until the next one, I'm going to give you guys another, uh, drive video. I don't know, maybe some donuts, a burnout video, but until then like the video, subscribe and wait for more. All right, guys, talk to you later.